thank you, Jamie, and thank you, Jackson. That was awesome. And thank you, everybody who's come out here tonight to rage with us tonight and so many times. Um, I'm here to uh, tell you just a little bit more to give you a glimpse of what your generous contributions fund. Um, you saw a little bit of the antics uh, that we play, including um, some shoveling shit that I think a lot of you will uh, uh, re uh, recognize and relate to. Um, they have to do with the many issues we work on, from healthcare to privacy to insurance to civil justice. Um, the video I'm here to introduce ties a lot of these issues together because what the common thread is is that we are pulling back the curtain on the corporate sleight of hand that costs consumers money, their dignity, and even their lives. So we are exposing the life insurance companies who are changing the rules, rules for policyholders midstream and yanking away the benefits that they thought they could rely on. We're confronting the health insurance companies who are selling policies that don't have the doctors you trust and don't cover the treatments that you need. We are channeling the public outrage at energy industry scams that are hitting consumers in the pocketbooks at the same time they are causing pollution for the earth. And we are catching the corporations when they try to get so far out ahead of us that consumers are being harmed before we even realize they need to be protected. So for example, the big tech companies and the auto manufacturers who were fighting with Chris who are trying to rush robot cars to the roads before anyone realizes there are no safety standards and that no one has had a say in the values behind the decisions that these robot cars are making. Do we trust the corporations, who we learned time and again tonight put profits over people to write the algorithms who decide who lives and who dies when a robot car is in the street and has to decide whether to run over the toddler or run into a lamppost? We think we should be deciding the values behind those algorithms. Because the reality is no matter how cool robot cars sound and how nice it might be if one were to drive me home tonight, they are nowhere near ready for the road so we don't have exploding gas tanks or exploding tire, uh, tire tread or the equivalent of that for a robot car like a massive hack that turns 100 cars into each other. Um, these are the questions that the robot car makers don't want asked, and that's why Consumer Watchdog promises to continue asking them. So let me turn to a video uh, that gives you just a little bit more information about the ways that Consumer Watchdog is pulling back the curtain on corporate sleight of hand and deceptions. If you could run the video.